Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bri Aver here again for another trailer reaction. This one is for Paramount Pictures Suburbicon starring Matt Damon. And I'm sure you've heard of this guy before. The Bourne series and pretty much every blockbuster or, you know, comes out every year. Uh, this is being directed by George Clooney. I know you know that guy. Um, of course, uh, his best role ever was Batman and Batman and Robin. No, I'm just joking. But no, um... You know, of course, he's from the Oceans trilogy and everything else. Uh, he's been directing a few movies now. He directed The Eyes of March, which came out, I think, in 2013. And I liked that movie. But then he also directed The Monuments Men, which came out in 2014. I, I thought that was trash. Uh, very, very disappointing. I think the only thing I liked about that movie was Kate Blanchett, if she's in that movie or whatever. I, I was pretty disappointed by that. But it's been written by the Coen brothers. Uh, but anyway, you probably don't care about that. You probably just want me to stop talking and press play. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and put on these headphones. And y'all can stop listening to me talk. But watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. Okay, let's try that again. It didn't want to play. Here we go. Suburbicon. Welcome to Suburbicon, a town of great wonder and excitement. Hey there. Built with the promise of prosperity for all. It reminds me of a. Uh, Nikki, you need to get up. Pleasantville. There are men in the house. Son, there's something I have to tell you. Those men killed your mom. We've decided it'd be best if your Auntie Margaret came and stayed with us. Nikki needs a mother. We'll be strong. We'll be fine. Mr. Lodge? Yes. You know a character named Rizzoli? He's a loan shark. If you were into the mob for money, that might explain what happened to your wife. Hi, pal. Oh, oh. shit. This is the Damn. last time that clown's gonna ignore us. Take care of a kid. Oh, yeah, beat his ass. Yeah. So, so, so These your boy just got his yeah. everything from us. I have to make decisions like what's best for the family. Any progress on the investigation? A mobster got killed a couple of days ago. I can end the conversation real quick. Sorry for his loss of life. <laughs> yeah, I guess he probably is too. Nobody's me. Oh, I'm here to collect. What do you want? I want all of it. <gasps> all of it. Nothing like this ever happened here. This is a safe place. It was. Would you like a cup of coffee? Nobody's villages, burning, looting, and pillaging. I could have you killed in no time. Could kill you too. <laughs> Nobody speak. Nobody gets yeah. I talk between the second. Seven. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Real talk. Let me uh cut this off because I'm finna automatically play the it trailer again and I don't need to see that. What year is it? What decade is this movie taking place in? Uh, Like the 70s or the 80s? Not the, probably not the 80s. Maybe the 60s or the 70s. Let me see if they got something on this because what I'm really intrigued by, because at first it looked, I saw, I thought this was a comedy and people, it says comedy or comedy crime mystery. So I guess you can have all those mixed up. Oh, it's rated R. Um, I didn't know that. So they're not going to be holding back. I don't, I'm not saying I want like a gore fist, but um, you know, I mean, I do want realism and it's kind of hard to have that in a PG 13 movie. Uh, Matt Damon, as you saw, Oscar Isaac, uh, Julianne Moore is in this. Uh, I know George Clinton is directing, but is he going to be in a role in this? I don't know, and I don't feel like scrolling through the whole uh, cast list right here. Well, maybe I can look a little further, but what I like about it is that it has the stereotype of suburbicon or the suburbs where everything is just pleasant and innocent and just, oh, hi, I'm your milkman. Would you like your milk? Here's your newspaper. La, 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 beautiful day. There's no crime ever. 
it takes that stereotype and flips it completely upside down. It's like, no, here in the suburbs, we get down, grimy, and dirty, just like everybody else, where it would be the hood, the inner city, the slums, the ghetto, wherever. You know what I'm saying? They got mob and crime and bosses and drugs. Like she was uh grinding up some pills and putting it, you know, you know, it it it, it looks good. You know, they, they are taking that uh stereotype and flipping it upside down. Of course the whole cast is great. Uh we got great writers. We got well I was gonna say a great director, but everything George Clooney directed has not been um you know, platinum plus. And the storyline, it just said it's just plain and simple. A home invasion uh, rattles a quiet family town. So that's what's up. And I was really startled at the very beginning of the trailer because I was just going in there singing this was like a comedy or something. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the dude, it was a, an invasion in the home. Dude's mom gets murdered. And it's like, how do you do what? What do you do with your child? I mean, like that, that just that sucks of course that's obvious but i mean like man like, how do you explain this to your child and you know what's going on you, i mean you don't know you know it's, it's like it'd be different if you know i'm not i don't have any kids so i'm not a parent so if you're a parent out there don't beat me up uh but it's like if you're a parent and one of the if you're a parent male or female and the other parent dies and you have to explain it to your child like if it's an accident like they got sick or a car accident or whatever you can explain that but Hey, yeah, your mom got murdered because she was involved with the mob. You're like, whoa, what? Not even my father, my mom. You know, my mom's a saint. So I'm really interested in also seeing the relationship between the father and the son and how they cope with things. And it also seems like Matt Damon's character, what's his name? His name is Gardner. Interesting name. It seems like he's a pushover in the very beginning of the movie and it seems like he's very passive. You know, he has this little stress relievers there. And it just seems like at one point in this movie, he's going to be like, this this is bullshit. Enough is enough. I'm going to go start busting some heads open. I'm tired of being uh, pushed around. I got a son to look over. I probably don't know what I'm doing. I, I got to show him, you know, w- what the deal is. And I'm not one to condone violence, but I am one to condone uh, self-defense. And if somebody's picking on you, bullying you, 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 you knock their head off. You hit them back. And it looks like his character, Gardner, is going to be doing that. So... October 27th. Is that the date? Yeah, October 27th. Uh, I'm going to be checking this out or whatever because uh, it does look good to me. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. But guys, that is just my opinion slash reaction of the trailer to Barbican. What did you think? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? It look good? Does it not? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. It's not hard. You just take the mousey over and you click on the thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, you are, you know the drill. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the content that I have to provide. Also, click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads so you don't miss no review or reaction. You can also uh, go to my website, Book and Market. Check me out there. I do have written reviews as well. And you can also look me up on social media. And also, guys, um, I just posted on my channel a review for Atomic Blonde. So if you want my opinion on that, go check that movie out. And the week before they released Dunkirk, Girls Trip, and Valerian. Um, the city of a thousand planets if you want my opinion my take my review on those movies as well just subscribe to my channel go check them out i have fun making them and or you can also just go to the description box there is a link to all four of those movies in the description box valerian the city of a thousand planets girl trip dunkirk and atomic blind i probably won't be reviewing uh the emoji movie because there was no early screenings and i really don't want to pay for that uh but hey who knows but guys thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash reaction of suburbicon by paramount starring matt damon and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace